The secret ingredient for this food versus is and he knows what gets me go. Now they pick their own dish to cook concerning the eggplant. Now you can't pick an eggplant and tell them what to cook. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little too much you know what I mean? so mm -hmm. they pick their own so tish what you cooking champ so what i'm going to be making tonight is an indian dish with mm -hmm. eggplant mm -hmm. and it's called bangin burk top okay okay you snap okay <laughs> okay okay good vibes what's good okay okay season so what you cook so my first dish is Eggplant omelet. Mmm. Mm. You, so you got another dish? You got two? Eggplant parmesan. Oh, see, oh. See, that's what made Lisa D win the first. See, Lisa D made um, a tuna salad and a sandwich, and she snapped. <laughs> but but Tish the champ, so you know. Brian, how you doing? Look. We gonna get it cracking. We gonna get it cracking. So, y'all can start whenever y'all ready. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna, I already cleaned my eggplant before we got on camera. Mm -hmm. But the first thing I'm gonna do with my eggplant is take some of this olive oil and just dash a little bit on here with my um little thingy here, my little brush, my food brush. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I did was I cleaned my eggplant and then. I sliced it like I used this, like that, put it down, mm. and then I had a nice little hole in my eggplant like that. Okay, is that so for I your did omelet? All of that and is, that for, is that for the omelet? Yes, this is for the omelet. Right, and, after, and so I set aside the eggplant meat. So you can use whatever you want in an omelet. I chose orange peppers and red peppers. I chopped them up really fine. And right now I'm just gonna put maybe like a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Here is the meat of the eggplant here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna start with a, a good tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. I might just use all of it, but right now I wanna do that. This is asparagus right here. Okay. And I chopped this up, the asparagus, really fine. And I'm going to add that also in my omelet because it provides color. If you know anything about me while I'm cooking, I love to cook with color. And right. all of this, the green and the red and the orange, it provides a lot of color. And I love that. So the next step that I'm going to do is I put a, a few slits inside of my eggplant go throughout the um... Gosh, yeah. don't you love garlic oh yes that too i love wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes because i love me some garlic yes and okay you're doing a direct roast okay yeah direct roast. i see let me put the camera on it so y'all can see it in a second oh, no. yeah. all right no, we can see yeah we see the direct, right. direct roast okay right. so it's going to roast on the the flame you can do this with a, a fire, a, a gas stove, or this type of stove. It doesn't matter. And you want to roast the eggplant until it looks kind of like leathery all around. Oh, it's a little smoky. Hold on. Yeah, it's okay. All right. I've, I've tried this before. Trust me, it's, everything's okay. Oh, 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 oh so it's <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so you're used to this. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. 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 Let's see what season is doing right now. Okay, so I wound up using all of the rest of my eggplant. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I had enough. I don't need it for anything else, so mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that there. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit more of my asparagus just to make sure that the flavor comes alive and the color comes alive. And I also added some shredded cheese. This happens to be Parmesan cheese because I have plenty of it. So I decided to put that cheese in an omelet. You can't have an omelet without cheese. I mean, okay, so wait, is that fresh Parmesan? 
Yes, it is. Okay, okay, that, okay, that, that's so you gotta let them know now. Yes, some sir. people, some people be like, Oh man, she could have won only if I knew it was fresh. Nope, fresh parmesan. <laughs> okay. I shredded it myself. Okay, y'all. See, y'all gotta go check out season on purpose. Season be having the meals for y'all, them, them healthy, them healthy meals that we be needing. And she have quick, healthy snacks as well. Thank you. Now I'm adding, uh, you can add like two to three eggs. This is just, this is for the omelet. So we're gonna add two to three eggs now into mm -hmm. my mixture. You can have a delicious omelet without some seasonings because this is after all seasoned on purpose. Right. So, I have some basil. I have, I, my favorite is garlic pepper. One of the reasons why I use garlic pepper a lot is because garlic pepper has its own salt. and okay. It has salt in it. So you don't need a whole lot of salt if you use garlic pepper. And if you like garlic pepper, if you like garlic, garlic pepper, you don't need to buy just the garlic. Mm -hmm. And I have a smoky paprika. Love, love, love smoky paprika because it just adds that not only a deep color, but it also has a little bit of heat to my dish and I love heat. So that's that. And now my mixture, it looks nice and liquidy. And so now I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. Now what I did with my breadcrumbs, I roasted them first. So I mixed them with some oil, whether you have olive oil, avocado oil, it doesn't matter. And for maybe like two cups of breadcrumbs to um, maybe a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of oil. And you just mix it up in a bowl like this, just like this. And then on parchment paper, which is this, this is parchment paper. You can line your oven a tray with parchment paper, lay your breadcrumbs on it, what I did and then put it in the oven for about 350 for 15 minutes. Check it because you don't want it to burn. You want it to brown and okay. you want it to get nice and toasty, but you don't want it to burn. It just okay. gives us that extra flavor. Oh, and I did put a little bit of seasonings in my breadcrumbs as well. Okay, we, we're gonna we're gonna head over to Tish. Let's see what Tish is going on. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Let's see what Tish doing. Okay, we see the little roast in the, okay. Give me a little roast on over there. You still got us on mute. Okay. Yeah. What I was saying, I'm still roasting it on the fire and I have this bowl of water right here because once it's finished roasting, I'm going to sip the eggplant in this water to cool off and something to get the skin off properly. The other thing, like I was saying earlier, you want to roast it until it has like that leathery look all around it. It okay. looks like it's burnt, but that's okay because that's just the skin. The inside of it will not be burnt. Okay. okay. And to put and put my my holes here on my on my sheet. That was a good idea. Oh, oh thank you. And. Now I'm just going to go ahead and now Cap, I'm just going to go ahead and just put a dollop inside each of these eggplant rings. Okay. Okay. So now you can talk because that's all I'm doing now. Okay. Okay. Solo layout. Oh, I seen here for the tea was in the building. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> Oh, shout out to Tizzle with the tea. Now y'all see what's going on here. Y'all see this is these, these are magicians in the kitchen. Y'all gotta hit that like button. Hey, y'all gotta hit that like button. Yeah. Let's check out Tish real quick. Let's see what's going on with Tish. So right now I'm removing the skin okay. off of the eggplant while the other one is roasting. I got two eggplants that I'm gonna cook. Martina, what's good? Brian, what's good? Yeah, one day 100 plus, Brian. One day 100 plus. It's going to go down. We're going to get it there. Oh, that's that's it for now. Okay, that's it for now. Let, let, let's check out Season and see what Season got going on over there. 
have done, I, I have the tips of my asparagus right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put some tips to add extra color and extra flavor on top of each of these uh, eggplant omelets. And mm. once, once I finish that, I'm going to put it in my uh, air fryer for about three on 350. So I have to heat my air fryer up just to preheat it a little bit to 350. I'm going to air crisp it for 10 minutes. At five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn, flip it so it can cook on the other side. So this one is finished. I'm finished peeling the skin off of that one. It's good, Mercedes. And while this one is roasting, what I'm going to do with this eggplant here is just chop it up. Just chop it all up. Okay. Okay. And I want to thank y'all again for coming in the building. Everybody for coming in. Everybody for sharing it. And then make sure y'all make sure y'all hit that like. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot my flax seeds. Oh no, nah, you can't forget the flax seeds. I know. I know. I'm no. gonna put a little bit of flax seed on top of my eggplant now. Flax seed is really tasteless, but it's so good for you. It helps clean your system and everything, and it's loaded it with fiber. See, why y'all think I watch Season on Purpose? Season on Purpose is going to help the cat lose weight. You know <laughs> so what I'm saying? I'm just going to sprinkle it like you would sprinkle any other kind of seasoning. She going to help you lose weight, cat? <laughs> yeah, she. everything she cook is healthy. Not all the time. I, it, look, compared to what I eat, it's, compared to what I eat, it's healthy. <laughs> Oh, it's, okay. Yes, it's really okay. healthy. So, Tish, what you over there doing, Tish? I'm still chopping up my eggplant. Okay, let's take this brief intermission real quick, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all remember the poll is coming up at the end, so y'all make sure y'all remember to take a brief intermission. Okay, so what you so who got something going on? So I'm just cleaning up, preparing for my next dish. Okay. And I'm just all I'm doing right now is putting some water in the bowl so that I can prepare to chop the chop up the, the other um eggplant. Okay. Make sure I hit that like button one time for season on purpose. Hit that like button one time for Letitia Campbell. Just don't hit it for me, because if y'all hit it on for me, y'all normally hit the dislike, but it's okay. I'll get over it. I'll get over it. I won't get over it, but I'm just telling y'all that so y'all won't know I'm mad. Yeah. Also, just to let you guys know, when you're doing it this way, you're gonna have the fire, the flame on high, and probably let it roast for about a good five to eight minutes or something like that. Mm-hmm. So you wanna roast it until the inside of the eggplant. See how I'm able to poke in there really good? Yeah. When, you, when you're able to put your fork straight through, you know that it's pretty much done. Okay. Hey, one, one more second. Hold on. Let's take another intermission and watch a brief watch of a little bit of season on purpose. That's all. You use tofu. Make sure, and you want to cut it like this, make sure you purchase the firm tofu. I had This was a one block package of tofu, and I just cut it in nicely square pieces. Easiest thing in the world to do. I seasoned this smoked paprika and garlic pepper. That's it. You'll see in a previous video that I made, actually it was potato salad with mom and I, and she always, always she, she, she said, said lift and, and turn. So, so you'll, you'll <laughs> tofu, tofu definitely, definitely you want to lift and turn. You don't want to it's a little bit of season on purpose. Okay. Let's check out season one time. Season, what you got going on? Okay, so my my breakfast is now in the air fryer. And so now I'm preparing my eggplant parmesan. And so this I have three eggs in here. Typically the same kind of ingredients, nothing major, nothing fancy. Same thing I put in my other ones, which was garlic, pepper. Some, my, my love my smoke and some uh, basil 
And now I'm just gonna go ahead and squish that up. And so I, and so what I did with these, I just sliced these eggplant and I'm gonna put them one by one uh, plate. I'll use this one. Yeah, I'll use this one. Yeah, so one by one, I'll put these in here, swish it around like that. Now these are same breadcrumbs that this is, the very same, I just had some left over. And if I run out of breadcrumbs in here, I'll just pour some more. So I don't wanna put all of my breadcrumbs, all of my eggs in one basket. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, so, um, so I'm gonna put this in here, swish it around. I mean, you know, you can do this different ways, right? You can. You can put your put your egg in your egg batter and then squish it around. I prefer to put it in here. I guess I'm learning that from my mom. My mom is old school. As if this was fish, you can do this with fish, uh, with chicken or whatever. And you just squish it around in here until it gets nice and, and coated. And then you just take it out and put it here. And we're going to set these aside. I'm going to do six of these, right? Just like that. Okay. Mm. I'm keeping an eye out on my um, eggplant omelet because I don't, I'm looking at, I want to flip it at five minutes. Mm -hmm. So I put it in for 10 minutes at 350. I'm going to see what it looks like at five minutes. Okay. And then I'll flip it. Hey, y'all, we got 67 people watching over both channels. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button for us. Y'all make sure y'all share us out so we can build this here, this platform for these these black cooks to do their thing across the world. Yeah, check that for me. You can turn the heat up, actually. Hey, Baker TV, how you doing? Value matters. Value what matters. Welcome in, Sweet T Morgan. Morgan LOL, welcome in. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure I hit that subscribe button. Chubb, what's good? Brandy in the bill. Whoever I miss, shout out to y'all. I'm sure my mind spoke to y'all already. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got her. Yeah, Jill, she got her in the mix, Jill. Yeah, yeah, Jill. He over there flipping, he over there flipping something for it, Jill. Yeah. She over there cheating. Shout out to Season on Purpose husband in she the building. Got over there. Got <laughs> two, I ain't no rules. I ain't nah, I ain't say you can have a cook now. I just said cook the eggplant. <laughs> I got a I gotta help over here too, believe it or not. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, um, Kat, the next thing I'm gonna do is um heat up my pan. To okay. the rest of the ingredients for my okay. Let me get you in the solo. Okay. Oh, what, what's the? Oh, I forget. I forget. And I knew somebody was gonna use extra virgin olive oil, and I forgot my Rachel Ray Jeff video. Oh my God. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, Rachel Ray's favorite. Okay. Well. well okay. So you are gonna let it get to a sizzle tip? So you, what you gonna do with the vegetables? I'm going to stir fry all the vegetables together. I have some. Red onions. Mm -hmm. I have um, fresh garlic. Okay. Some ginger. Oh, is that fresh ginger? Fresh ginger. Okay. Um, some yellow peppers. Okay. And I have tomatoes. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna put inside of my oil is the the onions. Okay. And I'm gonna let that saute for a few minutes before I add my other ingredients. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got something going on over there with season on purpose. So I'm getting ready to put this in my other in my other fryer. Oh, you got one of them kind of fryers, industrial? Yeah, well, I it's a it's a, a what do you call it? An instant pot and an air fryer. Yeah, yeah. So I have I have one that's that's a grill and air fryer. That's where the uh omelets are. Okay. And this one I'm getting ready to put in my uh, other air fryer so I can just dip it down just like this. Okay, so, we, we okay, we see you. We see you for that. 
So I'm gonna put this in the oven for about on, on my this oven for 390 for about eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take it out and then you'll see what I'm doing next. Okay. Okay. Fresh garlic. Okay, we got the fresh. Okay, we got Tish with the. I love me some garlic. That's right. Mm. I added my fresh garlic because I love me some garlic. Okay. And my my yellow peppers. Now the, the recipe. Now y'all already know when I make a recipe, I always do my own little thing to it to add my own little spin. Right. The recipe did not call for yellow peppers, but I added yellow peppers in it for color and a more like a, a more sweeter flavor because. I like the flavor of yellow peppers. It has like a sweetness to it, but it's gonna also give it an extra amount of color. And now I'm gonna add my ginger. Yeah, hey, Jill, Jill, yeah, she over there working two fries. Jill, stop playing with her like that. <laughs> we got the ginger in there. I'm gonna let that cook for about let that saute for about yeah, a minute. Yeah, that is on the menu. This is what, what what's happening okay. in my pan. Oh, okay. Okay. You see, hey, C.L. Brown, thanks for showing up. For real, for real. Now, we got we got some Shady Bells in the building. And we got Come some on, Shady Bells. I need y'all to drop some bells and palm trees in the chat while y'all out there. And I need y'all to drop some... uh. Salt and pepper shakers for season on purpose. <laughs> I think they got salt pepper e emoji. Y'all dropped them for season on purpose. Dropped them shady bells for Letitia Cameron. What's good, sweet reader? Cause they came, they coming through for us. Look, good quality entertainment. Cap. Next, I'm I'm adding my tomatoes in next. Okay, okay. You snapping? You okay? So, Cap. Yeah. While, while my uh, while my parmesan eggplant is browning in the oven mm -hmm. i'm going to go ahead and put a hole in these right now in preparation for when they come out okay so this is provolone cheese you can if you can find um sliced uh parmesan use that if you can't use what you like okay so I'm using provolone, and the reason why I decided to use provolone for this one is because if you want to get the taste of the Parmesan, mm. then you don't want another cheesy taste. And okay. provolone has a very plain uh, taste. So you don't really taste the flavor. In other words, the Parmesan would outflavor the, the, the uh, provolone on any day. So that's why I use the provolone because you want to taste the Parmesan. Okay. So now we're just waiting for that. And I love cheese, so I'm going to have some cheese. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to add my spices. First, hey, guess, gonna... hey, hey, guess what? Hey, you know what? You love cheese, and guess what? <laughs> guess what? I love, I love donuts. So guess what? <laughs> you want to have some donuts while you guys talk about it. Hey, listen. You done got my husband's attention over there. Watch yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me let me let you guys know what spices I'm adding into my mm -hmm. eggplant recipe. First, I'm going to add some turmeric. Okay. We all know turmeric is good for us. It has yeah. a lot of health benefits. Lots of health benefits in turmeric. Got a little black pepper. Shout out to many in the chat. Mad dog, all the moderators. <laughs> Mad dog. <laughs> a few cumin seeds. I'm going to add a few cumin seeds into it. Okay. Oh, okay. So y'all really trying to upgrade y'all seasoning game. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing all the time. I'm seeing flax seeds, kim seeds. I'm saying, okay. All the okay. seasonings I walk past in the store. Coriander powder. Yep, I walk past that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. You said these, uh, uh, these spices that I'm using, mm -hmm. these are spices that Indians use for the most part in their food. Oh. I have hey, hey, Chris. Onion powder. 
Hey, shout out to Chris. Oh, Chris, you always saying some fire or something. This man said a, a what did you just say? A blueberry glazed donut. Man, I wish. <laughs> garlic powder, cause I love me some garlic. Love her some garlic. Seasoning game on Smash Walmart. I'm gonna also add some crushed red peppers for a little spice. You know, Indians like a little spice okay. in their food. Did you buy all those seasonings at once? Do you go seasoning shopping? I do go seasoning shopping. All right, I need them to come out. <laughs> show this better than Food Network. Chris, I've been trying to tell a whole sector. This is better than Food Network. <laughs> so and what I'm going to do with my with my non bread, I'm going to brush some olive oil on top of it and put okay. it in the oven. <laughs> and it's garlic. It's roasted garlic flavor non-bread you gotta expand the audience see at least coco believe in me coco believe in me now look rome wasn't built in one day that's right exactly now, I, you that's know what i'm saying now, that's right you gotta give me somewhere. give me the same respect y'all gave rome y'all well, let you know rome... what Cap? like yeah. i told you before mm -hmm. you know you have you know, aside from the extra language aside from that you, you <laughs> hold on hold on hold, language? Hold, hold on what real mean, quick what that, that means season what hold on hold on i got you. I, I got some for season right here hold on <laughs> what you trying to say about our boy season besides, besides the extra like you know the language you use sir but go ahead season we, we messing with you go ahead <laughs> A lot of great information, mm -hmm. and and you have a wonderful sense of of a business acumen, and you don't, and sometimes I don't even know if you realize what you're saying when you're saying it. I mean, you mm -hmm. just you just have so much; it just flows. Yeah, <laughs> and it flows from experience and what you've already done and experience. Yeah, and and so I, it's really cool. It's really cool. Wait okay, a minute. So, wait a minute. The, yeah. the, the 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 opponent is trying to butter up the host now. What's happening? Here? <laughs> Hold on. I told him that already. He hey, 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 she told me this before she was a competitor. <laughs> he knows. I'm just funning. I'm just. Now that she a competitor, we might rig <laughs> some. You know what I mean? Inside of the oven. Okay. So now I've made my sandwich, my Parmesan sandwich. Mm -hmm. So the white in here is sour cream. Okay, that looks good. It's a dollop of sour cream. Hey, would you mind? Would you mind holding one of those to the camera? Not at all. It's very loosey goosey, but I'll hold it up for it's you. It's okay. Yeah, just just show us real quick. Okay, okay, oh, okay. She snapped. Y'all see that? Eggplant sandwich? Stop playing. Y'all ain't never seen that before on Food Now. Rachel Ray could never. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting this back in the oven for another eight minutes uh, to let it cook all the way through. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, Kat. Yeah. I'm going to take myself off the screen because I'm going to um, clean up and set up to, to, to my presentation set up because my meal is done. Okay, so you want me to take you off of it? I just um turn my camera off. Uh, I will take you off. Just wave your hand when you're ready to get back on. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Food versus. Hey, look, coming to a city near you, y'all better know. Y'all better check it out. Also, y'all better hit that like button. I'm the same. So I'm done. Uh, okay. My my parmesan is now in the oven, so I'm just going to clean up. Okay, season ready. Let's bring season back on. Season is ready. Season was good. Okay, so I'm ready. I, I don't know. Can you see this? Okay, let me try to solo lay out you. Okay, what's going on with it? So this is my breakfast menu. Okay. And this is, let's see if you can see it. Hey, take the cup off of it and show us the plate first. You got to let them see that. Ooh, what the, okay, so what's all on that plate right there? Okay. So here is the, this is the omelet. Okay. And this is bacon if you want bacon. This is air fried roasted potatoes. Okay. 
And if you don't want bacon, you can have um, uh, um, a meatless bacon. Okay. This, this is vegan bacon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just like bacon. Okay. So if you don't want the regular, you can have the vegan bacon. And here's your eggplant. And you can have your coffee sit outside or sit on a nice comfortable setting. And this is your breakfast with coffee or tea with your eggplant, I mean with your um, eggplant omelet. And you have more to choose from because this is the rest of it right here. Okay. Bring it, they said, could you bring it a little closer? Yes. Okay, there y'all go. Okay, and now, and now what's all on top of that, if you don't mind saying it again? Not at all. This These are fresh tomatoes, fresh asparagus, okay. and fresh Parmesan cheese. Okay. Okay, you snap. Tish, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all hit one of them links. Subscribe to those channels. And if you want your channel to be on the, when I drop links in the chat, just let me know and I'll put it on the list. And then, you know, every time I go live, I drop the link for people to subscribe to our show. Oh, she done went. She done went to India? Hold on. Let me get, let me get, a, let me get a close up on season. Okay. Okay. Taste that for us, season. Okay. Mm. Okay. They say don't dig in. Yes, see. They say, hold on. Wait on tip. Mm. Now, let me tell you why it's so good. You taste all of the combined mixture of everything we put together. Mm -hmm. And it came out into one delicious bite. The eggplant that I, I put in there as the eggplant meat, it's very thick. Okay. And so if you choose not to have meat, you actually, it's actually thick enough that it has a meat filling for you. And so it's it's actually quite good. Yeah, it, it, it looks good. It looks yeah. good. Yeah. It looks good. Hold on. Oh, she done. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Tish done dressed up like she was <laughs> India and everything, man. She ain't never just go to India on us. Whoa. Straight like. Oh, I thought you was finna do a little Indian dance. Okay, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. You gotta unmute yourself. Okay, so what I was saying is that I went all the way to India on you guys. Straight to Punjab, India. That is the city where Bengal Burktop has originated from. So we have okay. our Burktop in the middle with the, it's like a garnish that I made it out of like a garnish with the little cilantro on the top. And then we have our naan bread around the plate here. I made a little piece of salmon. If you want to add meat with your bacon burnt top, I put a little piece of salmon on here that I um, just grilled earlier today. And I also added some broccoli, some fresh broccoli. So that is okay, our you oh. meal. Okay, you snapping. And then, we, like I said, for the, for the presentation, we have our Indian statues here, the way that it would basically look in an Indian restaurant. Facts. Facts. The only thing I'm missing, only thing I'm missing is the red dot. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Because I, I, I go to a restaurant called, uh, in Chicago, it's called Garib Nawaz Fire. Really? Yes. Fire. The bacon burnt top, really quick. So what you would do with your bang and burnt top is you would take your naan bread. Okay. And you would just dip it inside of your bang and burnt top. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then you bite into it. Okay. Ooh, that looks fire! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. So good. I love it. Hey, look, I need every spice. Every spice I can listen, taste. I need everybody that's on Boy Stop Capping Food versus coming to Boy Stop Capping TV. It's time to vote. It's only a few people over there. Come over here. It's time to vote. Come to Boy Stop Capping TV. It's time to vote. 
Did you want to see my other one? Oh yeah. Oh, we're not done. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we ready for you, season. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is this is my dinner menu, and for my Parmesan. So I have some some collards. I'm gonna serve some collards for my dinner. You know, you know, I love collards now. Yep. I love collards with turkey meat. Okay. Again, roasted potatoes, air fried roasted potatoes. And here is my eggplant parmesan sandwich. Oh, this is so good. Right here. And if you want, you could sprinkle, where's my cheese at? One second. Yeah, she came through with the grains. She came. She came through with the grains. Uh -huh. She came. Okay, we wait. We wait on see. Let's, let's, let's zoom in on season. Season. Let's see what I can do. Let me see. And then if you want, that's better like that. Some of your Parmesan cheese on top of it like that. Okay, now that's fresh grated. Freshly grated. So you can either leave it in your in your air fryer, let it melt off through, or you can sprinkle it on top over where you want. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's season second dish. Ooh, they snapping! And then, you know, for dessert, I have my I made this already on my channel. And Don't tell me that's the cider. This is the this is the cider. Yeah, with 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 caramel, homemade caramel. Oh yes, I seen it. Cap, <laughs> you gotta stop. <laughs> oh my God, I seen it. Okay. So, so, Tish snapped though. Tish got the nine bridge. She snapped with that. It's so good, Cap. It look, I, I'm telling you guys, it looks like it. I'm, I'm looking at it, it and it so looks good. funny. Hey, put that little scoop right there in the camera. That's, that look, yeah, that. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Somebody come look at this. Would somebody come look at this? Ooh, ooh. Hey, y'all hit that like button so we can get an algorithm, please. Please, we need to get an algorithm. And the other thing, the, the great thing about this recipe, too, you can make it with meat as well. I was going to add some ground turkey into it, but mm -hmm. I decided to just make it, you know, just plain like that. But you can add ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you yeah. want to add into this recipe. To, to, you snap. You, know, and you snap. You snap. Okay, season, we ready. What that Let, let's see. <laughs> Now this has the the um, sour cream, the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and the provolone, and sprinkled on top is the parmesan. Let me let y'all see this close up again. This baby mm. burnt top. Mmm, 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 mmm. If you it's like so Indian, messy. if you like Indian cuisine, it looked like it. It looked like it Indian. Right this is it. Oh, that look! Oh, that y'all snapped! Y'all snapped! A piece of this salmon. You can hey, y'all! It's salmon. time. You can take your salmon. You can also pick it up and bite it. Mm -hmm. Right, that's how I was gonna do. Ooh, let me see that little black and top on there. Oh, I can't wait till I start taste testing the food. I'm telling you. Soon as I soon, I'm gonna set up a food verse in person, and I need to taste the food because y'all might be tricking me. Looks can be deceived. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right, but let me tell you something, baby. <laughs> when it mm. comes to tasting food, mm. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> right, I'm telling you, I'm honest when it comes to food. I'm telling you, Joe, I'm honest. You have to be. You have to be. Why? Why? Why trick when you know you're good? Okay, right. season. They say they want to see you, or they want to see your dish one more time. Yes, sir. I'll yes, give you a whole one. Okay. Oh yeah, let them see the whole one. Ooh, look at that. A Parmesan oh, eggplant sandwich. She snapped. Mm -hmm. She snapped with that. She snapped with that. 
Y'all get ready to vote. Head over to Boy Stop Capping TV, please. Vote. I'm finna drop the. I'm finna drop the. Uh, I'm finna drop the vote. Uh Creative. I ain't voting. This unfair. Oh no, they definitely do their thing. This is a tough one for sure. This was fire. This is the presentation vote. This is the presentation vote. Okay, the poll is over in five, four, three, two, one. Bam. So we got for the presentation. For the presentation, we got. Cook a dish with Tish with 52% season on purpose, 47%. Okay. That's my presentation. That was a tight one. That was a tight one. Mm -hmm. that, that was a tight one. Okay. Presentation. Tish got that. All right. Okay. So, so now. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Okay. So now. Okay. So now the creativity vote. Hey, so y'all, look, it's a it definitely was a close battle. Definitely was a close battle. The creativity vote had poll has been dropped. Y'all take that creativity poll. Poll is over in five, four, three, two, one. The poll is over for that one. And that's creativity. And we got season on purpose with 63%. We got Letitia Camp with 36%. Wow. So right now it's one to one. Wow. Right you got to break a tie. Hey, now the tiebreaker vote. The tiebreaker vote. This is, hey, look, y'all. This is, it. it comes down to this. Uh-oh. It comes, it comes down to this right here. Y'all gonna see it drop in a second. So uh -oh. how y'all feeling? How are the competitors feeling right now? Let's start, let's start off with the challenger. How are the challenger season on purpose feeling right now? You know, I, I, I was very nervous coming mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. I really was. It was my first time uh, doing a live show, but when I went on in the preview and speaking to you and Tish, you guys really welcomed me in yeah. and gave me some good pointers. And so up into leading up into that, I was still kind of nervous. But once I came here, yeah, yeah, it you know, was fun. It, it, so Tish, how you feeling? You the champ? You the reigning champ? You, I, feel good. I you feel good. I feel like season on purpose. She really brought it tonight, right? I think that um, I've also brought it tonight, and um, I feel good at this point. Okay. Let's see. Let's okay, see what be okay, because because the thing is, the thing is, right? You the champ. Okay. Now you yes. got people. You got people tying with you and stuff. We yeah. When you're a champ on the aisle, I need you to sweep people. We don't we do not do no ties, okay? <laughs> that means there's somebody out here that's better than you. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to say nothing else about it. It just means somebody out here better than you if you can't sweep. I'm just saying. You okay. Got sweep. You got sweep. Okay. Okay. Now, I got to support the champ at this point. I, I want to see what the tiebreaker going to be. Hey, because I might be riding with a new champ. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It might be a new champ on the aisle. I don't know. But what makes you what makes you think that? I mean, because the champ ain't you ain't sweep them. You better sweep them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, see, let's see what this tiebreaker is gonna be first before. Okay, let's, now let's this speak too fast now. Don't let, let me stop speaking, okay? Because look, the tiebreaker is this, y'all. The tiebreaker vote is skill. Who used the eggplant accurately? How you would like it. Which eggplant dish you would take under the skill act? We got Tish who went Indian on us, and we got Season on Purpose who went Italian on us. I'm gonna drop the skill now. Whose skills was accurate in the kitchen? And I had the omelet. She 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 had the omelet. She had the like omelet. Y'all y'all tell them what y'all had now. The, the, the poll is being dropped. Just, re <laughs> just, just remember another thing: eggplant parmesan is very common. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so says you. <laughs> All right, let me stop. I ain't gonna do that. Let me stop. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to vote. Let's go with the poll, y'all. Let's go with the poll. Let's go with the poll. Okay, the vote is in. The skill vote is in. And 
unfortunately, we got a new win on the island. What? The music <laughs> and purpose has came through and captivated an audience and just destroyed the competition. Caesar, how do you feel? Oh my gosh. Well, listen, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank the Lord. I want to get my list out. <laughs> Hey, y'all make hey, 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 y'all throw some salt and pepper shakers in the chat for season on purpose. Thank y'all so much. Shout out, hey, shout out to Latish Campbell, who My will be back. Fish. See, y'all don't know the people that was champs or the people that may have lost. Y'all don't know they automatically entered in the tournament. Because season on purpose has made it to like the great wall of the island. <laughs> Season on purpose <laughs> has made it to the first lady spot.